And we have our last presenter of the day, and that is Dr. Eva Křížová from Czech Republic, and her presentation uh, carries the name Alter Alternative Medicine Must Stay Itself or in any other way. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. I would translate my title, Thank Alternative you. Medicine then Must Remain specific or, or authentic, I would say. I decided to have a very short uh, speech in English, although I prepared my paper in, in the Czech language, but due to the time delay, uh, I will really shorten my speech. The summary of my contribution uh, is that uh, the concept of integrated or integrative medicine is a very hopeful concept and is well formulated, but contains also uh, many risks and it is very difficult to implement it in the clinical practice, at least in some countries like in the Czech Republic. Why? Because uh, there are two systems, modern scientific medicine and alternative medicine, that are fundamentally different and uh, there is a huge power asymmetry between modern scientific medicine and the alternative medicine. In the presentation, I will try to uh, support my concerns with a few literature references from English uh, or American resources. I will not repeat the differences between uh, allopathic and alternative medicine. You know them very well. Uh, but it's necessary to say that modern medicine is uh, enormously united in their um, philosophy, in their practical approaches, in the language, uh, English communication. So modern medicine is uh, also integrated, at least in Europe, in healthcare systems that are compulsory for the population and that create good access to, to these uh, uh, healthcare treatments. So it is a very powerful uh, system. On the other side, uh, alternative medicine, as was also shown in the previous speeches, is fragmented and there is a high diversity of origin, approaches, theories and so on. Of course, modern medicine is culturally and economically dominant in the Western countries. So, why I uh, think that the concept of integrated or integrative medicine contains a few risks. The first reason is that there is the strong pressure on scientific evidence, as was also mentioned by previous uh, presenters. The, the dominance of modern medicine demands that also alternative medicine legitimizes itself through the scientific evidence, which is appropriate better to the allopathic medicine and fits less to the character and essence of the alternative medicine. I think you know the discussions, uh, how difficult it is uh, to make a sample of homeopathic uh, patients and to standardize the treatments. I think you know the discussion. You can also read one of the references that is uh, um, drawn from the English speaking or American literature. So you see that there is a very strong pressure that only evidence-based procedures will be tolerated uh, by the modern medicine in, in the integrated uh, treatments. 
The second risk is that representatives of uh, modern medicine decide or have the power decide what alternative procedures will be selected from the huge range of all possible approaches. So there are some uh, alternative uh, procedures that are better acceptable for modern, uh, for uh, medical professionals. But it is a risk for alternative medicine that only some uh, procedures will be selected uh, in the concept of integrative medicine. And again, you see in the second quotation the focus on research, evidence-based uh, procedures to legitimize the acceptance of alternative medicine in the integration. Another uh, risk is that, convent that uh, alternative medicine is still considered a a second or less, less uh, significant system, at least in Europe or in the Czech Republic. The dominance is uh, uh, ascribed to modern scientific medicine. So the position of alternative medicine is uh, determined by the good will of modern medicine. So we still uh, use the, the, the standpoint that prior is the scientific medicine and the complementary medicine only complements what is missing. I have found one good example uh, in the British resources uh, represented by the National Center of Integrated Medicine, United Kingdom. And I appreciate there uh, the wording that they are saying, integrative medicine brings together conventional lifestyle and holistic approaches in a mutually respectful way to support health and well-being. So mutual respect is uh, what I appreciate in this uh, approach. How to implement it in the practice is a big issue. My conclusions are that despite the fact that the concept is very hopeful and progressive and really um, creates opportunities, um, there are also risks uh, emerging for alternative medicine. If alternative medicine will imitate too much scientific and technological medicine, it can lose its autonomy, its authenticity and its power, we can say. The fact that some of the alternative procedures will be integrated while the other remain outsiders, outsiders uh, can increase inequity uh, in, the, in the field of alternative medicine and lead to some inner conflicts. I am a sociologist, so perhaps you <laughs> can uh, understand my, my uh, terminology. Uh, the most significant risk, in my view, is related to marketization, commodification and commercialization that is very strongly present in modern medicine. And if alternative medicine becomes another business plan and a new commercial product, it is, in my view, uh, really potentially destroying the, the benefits of alternative medicine. So even though integrated uh, medicine is a good concept, uh, I think that alternative medicine plays uh, an important social role also if uh, it's provided not 
in the not integrated uh, form. Uh, in my view, alternative medicine generally plays or represents a, a fundamental plan B for current uh, healthcare and has the potential also to reduce the ecological contamination that has been mentioned here. So this is the conclusion that uh, the integrated uh, medicine is a good concept, but we should be aware that it is very easy for modern medicine to control and to determine what alternative procedures will be tolerated and how they will be performed. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Křížová, for your contribution and, uh, and looking at alternative medicine from the sociology point view.